Welcome back to the Banana Empire. So we've taken Bolivia. I think I might just start pushing into Chile. And to do that, I need to start grow I need to start growing a few things. Let's see now. Growing in the at that. Probably got Chile is way important to us. Ooh, that's a thing. And since I have nothing to actually use half my factories on, I'm getting tactical bomber, uh, strategic bombers, just in case. Of course, I'm now very short of aluminium, but Let's see. Ya. Oh, yeah, two of these will will sort that out very quickly. And. I might even just bump them up a little bit. I'll bump them up a little bit more, get some more of them through. That's hardly a surprise. Okay. So I can't quite reach, I couldn't quite reach Santiago from with the with the um transport plane, so it's gonna be a naval invasion only once we get around to that. Meantime, I'm sending a couple of the, um, to send the paratroopers up here to lend some extra support in case we get, in case we get any kind of war there. As in, in case we do end up going to war with Colombia. Basically, a quick drop onto Bogota would we'll probably deal with most of that. See the that's five victory points. There you have it. no stability and only fifty percent war support. So we would apparently this has no potential enemy, which I do not trust. Well, France has declared war on the socialist state of Syria. Hmm. I support. Well, they have a still have a surprising amount of war support. Hmm. Something has revolted against French oppression. I have no idea what's going on in that part of the world. Ooh, they're starting to spite on us now. This will not do. Who did not see this? So submarines would now have an extra twenty percent chance to produce to penetrate screens. Or are more likely to get crits. Hmm. I think it might be worth going for that. Didn't even notice that Easter Island is owned by by Chile. At least not in this game, maybe. Good, Karen. Mm, flash. There's absolutely nothing out here to really go for. I suppose Easter might make a research base. I don't know. Well. Germany has now landed in Dublin. This is kind of unexpected. Yeah, this game has really gone a bit off the rails. Yeah. 
then if Britain falls, I think I might just start going going after Colombia and uh, all at the end. Wow, that's interesting. The United States of Venezuela has joined the Axis. Could be interesting. Well, time to create a little collaboration government in the Republic of Ecuador. Means we now have them as a puppet rather than a yeah, banana Ecuador. Suits me just fine. So it's not like I really need all these many factories, to be honest. He's up manpower as well, so I'm good. Second thoughts change here to look. I think it's time I got started on justifying a war goal for Arica, which I believe we Bolivia has a claim on, and yes, Bolivia would have a claim on these, as would Peru. They are now part of us, and therefore we have a claim. It's called logic. Look into it deep. Mm, so the Germans have taken most of Ireland, except for Mayo and Sligo and the north. And the Brits are probably pushing back. It looks like the Italians have actually landed around Cairo. Probably got tired of all this stalemating out here. Well, not my problem. Let's see, what will I research? In Probably this for strategic bombing. By the end of October, we should have the have a justification to go to war with Chile. Ah, Brazil is in the Allies too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna avoid going to war with them. That's just too many fronts left for me. To... Let's say declare war with me. In which case, a little Russian pack. these two. So I think I'm going to push some diplomatic pressure off. More revol revolts in Norway. Can't tell which side is having is doing which. I have so few things to use my factories on that I'm asking Brazil for permission to move troops in so that I can actually just build railways. I am really get, starting to get bored. <laughs>
see. Yeah, yeah this will be handy because we have increased chance to take hits from the long lance. Well, now, Italy has landed in Cornwall. And so this stage, I'm more just curious to see where the hell this is going to go, because it is nuts. Looks like there's a some combat here. I'm sure if, there, if it's somebody going for a Tripoli or somebody going for Malta. Yeah, I really did not expect this game to end up like this. Excellent. That's one collaboration government done. Managed to get 45% collaboration. It's going to be very helpful. And we'll have a justification done in a couple of days. And then after that, I think a coordinated strike is what this calls for. Andes. Let's see. You need some extra practice. Okay, it'll take another eight days because we need to get factories first and then do this. Really a problem for us. More days. Right. Four days and it's go time. I'm gonna merge this in with Well, I'm calling this the first naval response force. It's really a naval landing fleet. I still got one heavy cruiser. Ooh, this is not what I expected. Which means they've now reborn us. Well, looks like we'll have to do this. Go and do this then. Ah. 
And of course, we're at war with them, so this is going to be a bit. I think I may have pushed this just too far. Looks like anything that because I haven't got the naval supremacy. It's a little annoying. I'm just these guys need to Looks like I'm going to have to use these the old fashioned. Well, if a landing in Santiago is actually working. Not just off the coast of it, really. Yeah, we're, I think we've got this one in the bag. Now, how do I deal with... Ah, yes, now I need to get down to gone. I'm just going to order to go straight. Oh my god, we are actually pushing quite hard there.
Oh, we're actually managing to push. All right, where do I put these gun guns? Artillery, support equipment, trucks. Yeah, we're we're absolutely rolling. They still hasn't fallen. And don't so those guys actually will fall. It's then Brazil I need to worry about. Let's do
Why do they keep doing this? Chile has just surrendered, so that's one less thing to worry about. Not sure why the German Reich gets some of these, but have them be short front second thoughts I'm gonna push them in back into the Actually, pushing? This is not what I expected that would happen. Yeah, I, I don't think they can actually beat us in the, in the jungle. Here we've Finally got the full Yucatan Peninsula. It's about. And after this, I am just going to push straight up. Do this. So now they're dug in here, but they have supply. Why am I even having them fight on the ground? Why are you having them drop out of the sky? And hopefully we can finally get rid of this pocket. All right. Second thoughts.
I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. I really did not expect things to go this way. Not sure if I'll continue with this because it's turning into a nut fest. Might just move on and do, do another playthrough, but come back to this at another time. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.